Welcome back to the Nihilist Media Podcast. This is Bonding with Bond. I'm Mark. And I'm Nicholas. And today we did the fucking... The unthinkable. The bottom of the fucking barrel, baby. Yeah. <laughs> At least it'll be easy to pick where this goes on my list. Yeah. Uh, the plot sucks. Sean Connery's back. Guy Hamilton, director of Goldfinger, is back. And I hate Guy Hamilton. And I <laughs> um, I love Sean, but... uh. I, I liked Goldfinger. I thought that was pretty good. The pacing was pretty bad in places, but this is awful. This is the worst. This has very few redeeming qualities. Yeah. Uh, right from the get-go, we're, um, we're, we have a terrible shot to open up the film. Yep. Bond fights a couple people looking for Blofeld, and uh, they have a close-up of where is he, and it's all played for laughs, as if you know the man didn't just kill his wife. Yeah. And there's a part he's like, Kai, Kai, Cairo, when the guy's mouth doesn't move once. Yeah. And then it goes, hit me. And then Bond hits him. And it's like, this shit sucks, dude. Yeah, it's so bad. And then Connery shows up again. He's like, I'm Bond, James Bond. And then then he starts strangling a woman back to where we want to be. Yeah, you know. There's... There's a lot wrong with this one. I I was kind of looking forward to seeing Connery again, but he also, I think he's looking a little older in this one, personally. Well, he is 41 here. Mm. He's older and hairier. He is a lot hairier, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah uh, this movie, when you watch this movie, it's 100% one of those ones where you're like, <laughs> why did Lazen me have to leave? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty insane. And so it, it's all, it's this weird, I don't want to say crappy, but like not great beginning of him trying to track down Blofeld. Mm-hmm. And then it goes to Blofeld, who's terribly cast this time. Yeah, played by Charles Gray. And then it goes straight into a, a bath full of poop with a guy who I guess it's plastic surgery for them to just sit in a tank of mud and they're going to become blowfeld at the end of it yeah yeah and then bond drowns a guy in the mud and then by adding more on top he shoots blow uh, doesn't he no he doesn't shoot blowfeld he throws him in a pool of something i'm guessing it's where the mud comes from he put, yeah he makes him drown in a pool of mud and he's like welcome to hell blowfeld yeah and then the opening titles start, and uh, it sucks. Well, yeah. the song's great. The song is fantastic. Yeah, the song's really good. The The visuals for the- Fantastic. You like the visuals? Yeah, much better than Honor Majesty's. Yeah, I'll have to look at them again. I wasn't blown away, though. Yeah. Is it the- Oh, yeah, it's all the diamond stuff. Yeah, I thought it was all right. Yeah, and you had like the more of the hands moving and stuff like that, and yeah. the girls and the guns and all that stuff. Yeah, it's- Definitely better than On Your Majesty's. It's, like, I I get the wanting to have the little throwback. Yeah, Peter but... Hunt was more concerned about making a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Guy Hamilton was like, well, if we get him in the opening, it's like, you already lost me. <laughs> you, you lost me from the pre title like, sequence. Four, yeah. Oh, man. You, you literally lost me at the beginning of the film. Yeah. And uh, this film has nearly no redeeming qualities. Uh, Sid Haig is in this. Where the fuck was he in there? I don't even remember him being in this. Um, so I, as you know, we watched the film while we're talking yeah, about the we'll have it on in the background. I'm looking that up. Um, and I think the first thing that happens is like, um, I, uh, Bond like, and M talking about diamonds. Yeah. So they. The big plot of this is there's uh, people are stealing diamonds from the South African diamond mines, which the UK is mostly in charge of. Uh, 80% of the diamond trade goes through the United Kingdom, and they're losing a ton of supply from smugglers out of the South African mines. And it talks about, it's kind of following the storyline of this one package of a ton of diamonds. Uh, that they're trying to intercept to find where it's going. Uh, it 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 ends up it's going to America, uh, and M and I, 
I think it's the treasurer or something. I forget who the other old guy is. Old fucking dude. Yeah, but they're they're explaining it, and Bond is going to take the place of one of the middlemen who is taking. It's the smuggler who is going to take the diamonds that are already in the UK from the smuggler in South Africa to take them across across the pond to America. Yeah. In, uh, yeah. Also, I found a Sid Haig plays one. Is he plays the I got a brother guy? Oh, really? You know who Sid Haig is, right? The what? Sid Haig. No. He. You ever see the Devil's Rejects? Is he? He's which the, one is he's he? He's the clown. Oh, he's the big guy. He's a tooty fucking wow. fruity. That guy. He must have been young in this. Yeah. He's. Like, I got a brother. Oh yeah. Must have been a small world. That dude. That Sid Haig's one of the best parts of the movie. And that is. I should have guessed that was him. Like, if you were like, who in the movie would that be? It would be one of those goons. Yeah. Because that, he's like... One of the goons returns in a sequel. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Just to die, but he says he comes in. Yeah. And they, they, know, they, it's, assu- it's assumed that it's the same guy. Yeah. We're also hmm. introduced in the beginning to Mr. Wint and Mr. Kid, who are the highlights of the film. Mm-hmm. They are uh, a gay henchman. Who uh, kill people in very creative ways, and uh, I love them. I think they're very, very good. I also just like Bruce Glover, Crispin Glover's father. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they do it like I like, like the first mission, like kill they do, where it's like, oh, like can you check out his wisdom teeth, blah blah yeah. blah, and then they put the scorpion down the guy's back, mm-hmm. and then they blow up the next guy, and then they drown an old lady. Yeah, so they the first one. They put the scorpion down his back, and then they had his body. Then the second one, they give a package with an explosive to the guy who was supposed to take the diamonds, and his helicopter blows up. And they said, if God wanted man to fly, he, he would have given, given him us wings, wings, Mr. Kid. And then the third one is the old lady they drowned in the canals, and there he takes a picture, and she, he's like, she did ask us for a picture. Yeah. Of the canals, she said the kids. The kids. She wanted to take pictures for the of, of the canals for the kids. Oh, that would be lovely, Mister Kid. Yeah, and then, and then, then he, he tries to kill Bond in the the furnace. Yeah, in the funeral funeral home, home furnace. Yeah. And then they try. And then they kill the stand-up comedian. Yep. And then Ooh, they try to kill Bond again. There's no like joke. It's just like, hey, don't kill him. And they're like, that's unfortunate. And he's like, that's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what he says because they already killed him. And then the <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> yeah, that that was one of my favorite ones from them. And then they kill the girl that they think is Tiff, mm-hmm. who actually was was that her name was Plenty O'Toole. Was that Lana Wood? Yeah. All right. And then they try to kill Bond again and fail by putting him in a tunnel, tunnel with yeah, a rat, whatever and a machine. I don't know. And yeah, then that was a dumb one. And then, oh, there's another great, great moment with them is when they're on the plane and uh, Mr. Kid is like, that Tiffany case looks pretty good for a lady. And as Mr. Wint is putting on like perfume, he just stares him down. Yeah. And well, it's funny hearing awesome. Bruce Glover talk about it in interviews where he's like, you know, I had this like moment like, he's mine. No, he's, he's, he's my toy. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and then the last one's on the boat. Yeah. Which, which we'll get to at the end. Yeah. I... Uh, I, I thought uh, they were pretty good. Yeah, I think they were. They were highlights. They're good henchmen. Yeah, I so I don't think they're good henchmen. I just think they were a good part of this movie. Yeah, I think that they could have been more interesting. They could have used them. I, more. I think they could have been like the main thing. They could have been the villains. Yeah. Why? Yeah, they didn't need Blofeld at all. They needed Blofeld because it's like you have to follow on a Magic Secret Service with Blofeld. It was stupid though. Yeah, but it wasn't made by the man. <sighs> yeah, and they. They like took everything from On Your Majesties and just said, "Yeah, we'll do the opposite." Yeah, let's forget how to shoot a movie. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's, let's give it back to Guy Hamilton who let's like start already with had, day for night. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and not even be a dangerous stunt. They're literally just hanging out in the desert, yeah, they're just fucking walking around. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't even need to take place at night. It could take place in the day. Yeah, that's that was my the first thing I said. I was like, "What well, just?" Oh my god! It could be the middle of the like. Oh, it's like undercover, so it has to be at night. I was like, you're in the middle of the desert. Who cares? Just do it in the day. Yeah. You ever seen Breaking Bad? 
But nope. And then Bond, they they basically give Bond the the fucking thing. This go, this whole mm-hmm. like exposition thing goes on forever. Yeah. Because they need to pad out time to get the two hour runtime that they desired, which they didn't need. They really fucking did it. Um, and like, it uh, it, it it also sucks because like, because like we're doing all this immediately, like just like exposition dump. It make it gives you all the Mister Kid and Mister Wint scenes first. Yes. Oh, imagine if they were spread out more. Yeah, like real henchmen. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, I, they're the whole middle. They're like not even there. Yeah, and then the the whole finale scene. They're not on the oil rig or anything. No, they, they disappear from the movie, and like they're like everything is so muddled. This is like like if you thought like the ending of You Only Live Twice was like bizarre and muddled and didn't make any sense, this one is like the whole movie is that. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. It's, it's yeah, it's just. And not like clear, yeah, about like, anything. Blofeld, he obviously, tell you Savalo should have been Blofeld again. Oh, like you know, he is, and it should have been a darker perfect. revenge plot. Yeah, with and you could have you could have kept Mister Wint and Mister Kid and kept to be the comedic relief henchmen. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, exactly. And you can even have the Bond girl be the comedic relief, but you keep Bond and Blofeld as this like blood war. Yeah, as it should. It should be. They should be more like against each other than before and in this he's just like hanging out yeah they're just like oh it's you again like one of them should have immediately tried to kill each other in when he gets up to the penthouse yeah or he should have been like i hate this guy yeah or he kills him again and then another guy walks out again he's like how many (laughs) why are there so many blow belts yeah because that would have been that would have been cool if he just instantly killed them and then yeah. both holds like right behind him with a gun. Oh, that would. I hate when we do this. <laughs> <laughs> We're ruining an already bad movie for me. Yeah, and so Bond takes over the Peter Franks thing. He has probably the uh, worst scene with Money Penny because you know mm-hmm. Money Penny being at his wedding like a year ago is like, yeah. hey, you should get married to me, ha 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 ha, and <laughs> and it's just like, ha ha, my wife just died. Yeah. <laughs> She was shot in the fucking head on my <laughs> wedding day. Yeah, yeah. Money Penny doesn't give a shit. Yeah. It's like, I literally kissed you in the last movie. Fucking, let's like, yeah. let's slow the fucking. <laughs> slow the roll. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, so I'm going to point it out. This is probably the worst Money Penny scene we've had so far. Yeah. And the worst M scene we've had so far. Yep. And then Q is. He shows He's up to give him a gadget, second, yeah. and then he shows a gadget later on that has nothing to do with the movie. Yeah, because he does a voice change thing. Yeah. Wow. So we don't even ever have a real cue scene here. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> makes me gonna face uh, it. Like this actually like physically hurts me. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. And like I said, it's it's almost like they took everything that they learned from the last one and just unlearned it. I guess who was even there to have the lessons from the last one the producers yeah. that's who so they should have known better they should have have gone back to guy hamilton yeah like when he when his first when his first suggestion was uh the movie should be about goldfinger's twin brother they should have been like and let's get terrence young back in here go yeah. peter fucking hunt please yeah. i like we'll have goldfinger's twin be obsessed with diamonds yeah <laughs> And call him, they call him actually Diamond Finger. <laughs> I think we've thought of the name of the movie too. Yeah, and it's just like fuck this guy. Yeah. This is actually Guy Hamilton's only Spectre movie. Oh, huh. Because Spectre does not show up again. Yeah. Ever. I, I'm kind of. Okay. That's not true. But in this series, no. What are you talking about? In this series. Oh, okay. It never shows up again ever. In this series. <laughs> Yeah, now that you've added that. It's like, <laughs> nerd. When does this series end? The end of the 70s? Or? No, Die Another Day in 2002. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I like the first series is 10 years, and then, yeah, I'm just making like 30. Yeah, there's 20 movies in the first series. Wait, what? Isn't there only 25 movies total? Yeah. In... Well, it's 26 if you count the, the unofficial one. Oh, okay. Never again. How many Craig ones are in this series? None. 
So Craig has five. And there's already been five. So there's only 15, 15 other movies. Yeah. You just said 20 were in this series. Yeah. Yeah. In this in this series of Bond is twenty movies. What series? I'm so like confused. the original series, like the original character. Oh, of Bond. I see what you mean. Like the character that was introduced in Doctor No. Yeah, his, his story a, ends and saying, die another day. See, I thought the this series, like the first series, ended in Your Majesty. No, that's why I was like, what? <laughs> no, like, I'm so confused. No. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah. then Craig's stuff is his own. Yeah. Ugh. He's a little bitch. Just kidding. That was, that was too much math for me. Yeah. And then too much logic. So, so we can jump back into the plot. Yeah, I guess. So Bond Bond uh goes in and meets Tiffany Case. He says he's Peter Frank. She does like mm-hmm. this bunch of fucking rigorous things to make sure he is Peter Frank. She checks his fingerprint. <laughs> yeah, she also checks his passport. Oh, that's true. And then, oh yeah, and then he calls up Q and he's like, "I gotta hand it to you, Q. Yeah. Putting fake p- fingerprints on him was a good idea." Yeah, it's like, yeah, no shit, yeah. fucking oh, dumb, wow. fucking idiot. Exactly. It's almost like you fucking did this last time. You, yep. Yeah. Um, but then we get a pretty sick fight scene. Does that happen right after? I'm pretty sure after he takes the fingerprints off and stuff. It, yeah, somebody's like, "Yo, Peter's gone rogue." Yeah. And James intercepts him. Yeah. Also, we should talk about Tiffany. Yeah. So Tiffany is really cool. Tiffany is one of the middle people. Do, I mean, it. Do you, do you think Tiffany's good? I shouldn't say really good. Uh, she's one of the better parts of this movie. I I I still disagree. I don't, mind, I don't mind her that like I don't mind her really at all. I do. There's a, there's a lot of dumb comedic relief stuff, but. Her character just doesn't make sense to me most of the time. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, she I comes off as a femme fatale at the beginning. Yeah. She's changing wigs. She's naked around Bond. And she'd be like, I don't fuck the hell. You just killed James Bond. We need to get the fuck out of here. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then she becomes like, ooh, oh my God. Ooh. Like you, right Blofeld. after right after he beats the shit out of her. Well, doesn't beat the shit out of her. But once he beats her at the her pool. She yeah. becomes a completely different character. Maybe he hit her too hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I guess you're right. Because then she just becomes a com- com- comedic relief thing, and they even give her a thing like, hey, you're going to go do these things, and that's how you're going to get the diamonds. And then she just like half-asses everything, and it's just like, you, you, you're literally, your character literally wants the diamonds. Yeah. So like, no, why right. are you doing this? Why are you acting like this? Why do you like this movie? Hmm? It's like, why do you like this movie? Yeah. Like, I hate, like, I hate it. It's like movie. Come on, why are you like this? Yeah. Peter Franks Stop. comes up. Um, Bond is making out with himself to make sure that Peter doesn't notice him, which is stupid because Peter walks right by him, so like he would have yeah. seen that as one guy. Um, yeah, and, that's real dumb. And then, uh, and then they have the best scene in the film. Yeah, the elevator fight scene, which is very cool. Well, it starts by Bond showing off that he knows English. Yeah, he's like, he's he's like, you English? And he's like, yes. I speak English. What? What? Who is your floor? Yeah. And then, uh, which is a great Conneryism. Connery acts the fuck out of this moment. No, yeah, it's great, and it's like a, a nice little bit of yeah. espionage in it. Yeah, and I think this also shows that Connery could have done like the Sir, H- Sir Hillary Grave stuff in Majesty, where he he could do like the undercover thing. Mm. I do like that. I though I, I while I think this elevator scene is quite good, it does feel like they watch. They just like hmm. So play me the uh, the from the from Russia with Love train scene. Yeah. All right, let's uh, shot for shot. Let's just do a lot of that. Yeah, and the, it's good because I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it works. Even even from the first swing, he like pulls his arm back, and it because it's such a confined space, it breaks the window. And out. that's how it alerts Peter to like to like get on yeah. his guard. But like the thing is, the thing that I don't like about it is now it feels like. With this one, so I remember how I was saying in the last last week when I was like, Honor Majesty Secret Service mm-hmm. was like the last Bond film that innovated. This one the, isn't copying any trends, but what it's copying is itself. Yeah. Because it feels like this one is like, hey, remember remember that? Remember yeah. Goldfinger? <laughs> remember we were having fun? Remember like, remember From Russia With Love? 
It feels, yeah. it feels like a, a Bond's greatest hits, mm. but now it's older and slower. Yeah. And hairier. Yeah. <laughs> And I and I'm also not gonna give that to Connery because Connery is like he does act the fuck out of it in this movie, but like, yeah, I I had assumed that he would be more checked out for this, but he did fine. He's he's a lot more in it than he is in You yeah. Only Live Twice, I guess. I I think so. Yeah, and there's another kind of cool scene where he drags. Peter's body into the apartment and swaps their pa- well he swaps their passports and then drags them in and Tiff's She's like, like yeah. you just killed James Bond which but then that leads the question why does she know who James Bond is that's and that's uh, immediately out because we joked about um uh everybody like inspector should have a wallet sized photo of James Bond so that he can't just walk because later on he just walks into a lab and goes I'm this person. Yeah. And he's not even in disguise. He just has a lab coat on. Mm -hmm. It's like, at this point, everybody should know what James Bond looks like. Yeah, I feel like once you foul Spectre's plans twice, you should have- Spectre should know who you are. (laughs) Yeah, they should have a picture of you in every wallet. Yeah. Like, everyone, your face should be burned into their brain. Yeah, and they'll have little motivational posters in in their offices. Yeah, by Thunderball, like, that shouldn't fly again. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and and then but then it flo- flew again and you only live twice and then it flew again in <laughs> magic service yeah and it's flowing flo- going again yeah it, uh like bond even i mean blofeld even fell for it last time <laughs> yeah well he like, didn't fall for it yeah. remember like Vova was the only one who like we were talking about how great yeah. that was where he's just like yeah, that's I'm, a good I'm, point I'm, like, I'm, I'm, what the fuck's wrong with you <laughs> he is a- but you're wearing glasses and two rings. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been so good if the movie just happened where he just sits there and, just, and like Bond sits down there with the glasses and Bond starts doing the accent. Both like, what are you doing, <laughs> dude? Stop. What what, what we, is this? We both know who you are. Like, come on. Like, I, I, I guess we can play along. You can fuck two of my girls, but like, yeah. what, 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 what are we doing here? Like, what, what's going two on? My sleeper agents. Yeah, like, let's, yeah. Don't be fucking silly. This is silly, fucking stupid. All right, Mark. Let's get this over with. So we <laughs> we have now passed the coolest scene, <laughs> and now we move into smuggling the diamonds into America. Which... Oh, is that what we want to get it over with? So you can talk about Felix. Yeah, you can talk about Felix. Yeah. Uh, which so I was really nervous about Felix. I didn't really hate him in this one. But he's not the worst. But he's yeah, not, that's he's not like he's I was only... expecting him to be the worst because so he we. Uh, so Bond gets on the plane. Everybody's on the plane watching him. Uh, they land and he gets called into customs. And the customs agents are like, hey, we need to check your brother's coffin. And uh, the agent there, uh, Felix walks out and he goes, oh, hey, you can take a break. I'll take care of this one. And Felix is like, yo, what's up, Bond? <laughs> Welcome. And uh, like greetings from the CIA. And he's like, hey, if you need anything, just let me know. And I was like, oh, is that it? I was like, that might be nice. <laughs> That's just a, a little, oh, hey, I see you're in America. Let me know if you need anything. But then uh, we get the the new three blind mice. <laughs> yeah. Also three dudes in a hearse. <laughs> One being Sid Haig. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's the worst. He's, he's better than the Felix and Goldfinger. He's, yeah, he's better than old man. But he's still an old man. Yeah, he, this dude, he he does so much more than the bureaucratic one, though. But this one is still a bureaucratic Felix of like, yeah. Bond, what's wrong with you? You know, bringing women around, yeah. having sex. <laughs> you know, where Jack Lord is always like, yeah, hey, you had sex? Sick, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, let's, he, let's, let's have oh, sex together yeah. sometime. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Me, you, and M. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Tokyo. Yeah. You know, even Richard Van Nutter was also kind of like that. Yeah. But, like... This is the guy Hamilton Felix, the old pudgy fucking. Yeah. I, 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 we've already we've been we've been through this a bunch. I like my Felix in the field. Yeah, I like my Felix, Felix in the field. My, I like my Felix being able to fucking go side by you know, brush shoulders with bomb with a with a gun, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm exactly the same way. I I want him to be, uh, his Biffle. Who? Yeah, you want him in Doctor No. Yeah. Oh. 
I miss it's that gonna, so it's much. It's not going to happen again. Nutter was good, too, though. I like Nutter. I did like Nutter, but, it, you know. Lord's <sighs> the Lord. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to call up Jack Lord in this rewatch so far, because no one has even come close. No, not at all. Nutter was great, but, like, like Lord was, like, yeah. like the tippy top. Yeah, Lord was incredible. And so after customs, he they give them to the three blind mice guys, and that's when we get I got a brother, and Bond like small world, yeah, which was wicked funny, yeah, that that cracked me up. I and, got a brother too, yeah. Wow, yeah, <laughs> really, dude, yeah. And uh, it's assumed that the diamonds are on the body of the brother of the brother, and then they do this. So here's like the weird thing about us. Why was Felix there? Because he checks the, for the diamonds, right? But why? I don't know. Because, so, in the book. I don't care about the book. I care about yeah, what's going on right that's now. That's I was like, there's nothing to do with the U.S. It's like a, like. Yeah. Britain gone rogue. Yeah. I don't know why the U.S. is working with them for something that only. Oh, no. Well, this one, I guess it's more. Yeah, now it's the fate of the wolves in everyone's hands. Yeah. Because it always ends up being that. Yeah. We can't go back to being like espionage shit. But, um. <sighs> well, we could have, but we but, don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, um. I don't know. We'll just assume it, he gave him a call. That well, no. It's just it's just like it doesn't make sense that Felix was involved there because then why did why would Felix let Bond go with the three blind mice guys without following well, him? Yeah. Why would he not follow him? Is more of the thing because he he knows he's on a mission. So yeah. he's like, yeah. Where where are the diamonds? I can't find them. He goes, eh, idiot. And then he gives the three blind mice the body. But it, I mean, they don't even have the real diamonds. Mm-hmm. Because then he, his brother gets his, so James is the body he's with, he says is his brother, gets cremated. Uh, the diamonds are assumed to be in the urine, which gets put in a like, uh, there's like a cemetery for urines. It's like a urns. Urns, yeah. The urine. <laughs> yeah. The urine for an urn. A diamond filled urine. Uh, it's like a wall of memories. Or I forget what they call it. Yeah, I don't know. But then he gets whopped by <laughs> your boys. Yeah, Mr. Kid and Mr. Wint. Um, and then they put him in a coffin and they start burning him to death. Yeah, which I was like, oh, I have no idea how he's going to get out of this one. And it was just an old crabby comedian and the funeral home yeah. being like, where's the real diamonds? Yeah. He's like, where's the real money? Yeah, they, they saved him to jump him. And I'm like, where's the point of this scene? Yeah. And also, I I don't really get why, like, they're all kind of on the same team, but not really. But, like, I don't, why would they do the fake money thing? I think that's dumb. They probably should have just been real money, and then, but then they wouldn't be able to have that scene, so. Yeah. It's, it's funny. He He goes to the casino with that envelope. And the guy sees the envelope and he's like, his money's good. And then it was big money. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about that till now. Like, it, this doesn't make sense also. It's I don't I don't know. I, I hate this whole setup. It's like, I, I, I guess it could work, but like, I don't know. So I think it's a ton of middlemen bringing Blofeld the diamonds in... The henchmen are Blofelds, so he's like, okay, just kill everybody after they do their step. But, like... Yeah. All right, actually, that's a good question. So, Blofeld wants those diamonds yeah, for, for a thing. satellite. So, why doesn't he just get the diamonds from fucking the first guy, kill them, and then leave the middlemen hanging? Yeah. Or, like... Because any then the, other way, because like, because then Mister Wit and Mister Kid could just give them to Blofeld, and then Blofeld can do this without raising any suspicion. Wait. Yeah, wait. Why do they? Why do they do any of this? So they get the diamonds from the first person. Maybe they switch the diamonds then, but then why would they kill everybody? So they get the diamonds, and then they give them to the old lady just to kill her after she gives them to the next person? Yeah. <laughs> this movie's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand it less now. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. 
Because that's a- this movie's fucking stupid. And then Bond goes to like. He bonds basically like, yeah, Felix. They tried lighting me up and blah blah blah. You weren't there, ha ha. And then and Felix is like, well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna like find we'll, we'll get you the real diamonds, yada yada yada. But like, just like sit tight. He's like, oh, I'll see a show. And he goes to see the comedian, but the comedian gets killed by Mister Wit and Mister Kid, so he's completely pointless for the fucking story. Yeah. Um, and that's when he meets Plenty O'Toole, who has mm-hmm. who's Lana Wood with big titties. And then like they're yep. playing cards, and then like he they they're go playing- back. To- I almost said Yahtzee. They're playing craps. They're playing craps. And then uh, she, he basically, like, she's one of those, like, hustlers or whatever. Like, people who, like. Yeah. Yeah. And then. The, I think she, Gold Digger? Is that yeah, the Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Whatever whatever Sharon Stone was at the beginning of Casino, that's what she. <laughs> yeah. That's, what, that's what Plenty O'Toole was here. Uh, and then they basically go to uh, Bond's room to have sex. Mm-hmm. But then the, the, the three mind blind mice are there. Uh, and they throw her out of a window, which Nick was like, <gasps> that's, I was like, oh my God. Cause I kind of <laughs> liked her. I thought she was going to be more of the story. And Nick literally liked her because she had big titties. Shut up, Nick. She was wonderful. You I loved pervert. her. And then <laughs> you fucking she's, pervert. she's a good story. <laughs> uh, they threw her out the window and I was like, oh, that is gruesome. <laughs> I was like, I cannot believe that this death was in here. Yeah. And that's then, some Lazenby shit. And I was like, oh, oh, then she hits the pool and I was like, oh, okay. And uh, Bond's like, wow, good shot. He's like, I didn't know the pool was there. It's like, that's cold. <laughs> that's the guy. That's the guy who's going to come back in another Bond movie. Mm. Um, I wish it was Sid Haig because I love Sid Haig. But um. Yeah. Yeah, and then after that, they like he's like, all right, where he he fights them for a second, and then he's like, all right, where 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 are the real real diamonds? And then like they they just leave, and then he goes into his room, and Tiffany's this there, like ready to bang. Yeah, I I stand by Woods is better than Tiff. I mean, I guess that's like yeah. that's you're you're comparing, you know, chicken shit to chicken salad. I don't know, man. It's <laughs> like it's salad. not it's not like. It's not like there. There's like any. There's like any like could have been. Yeah. They, they, so anyway, Tiffany and him fuck, and then they're like, "Hey, we're gonna get the diamonds this way," and they go through this really convoluted thing, which is just like, if Felix has the diamonds, just keep them. Yeah. If that's what it's gonna take, it doesn't bring him to Blofeld. He also, what do anyways. the diamonds do again? I I guess they make a special laser beam or something. I don't fucking know. I that's probably like a throwaway line of dialogue we just didn't hear. Yeah, probably because we were pissed and we were fucking. Yeah, I I had to cool down a couple times. I was like, I cannot watch this. This is absurd. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, I'm remembering the car chase stuff now. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> so basically, they go to the circus. They go to circus, circus. Yeah, and they. Oh, they're in Vegas, by the way. Oh yeah, I think we mentioned that. Oh yeah, this is America. Yeah, all right. So the, the original idea for this was because they didn't think they're gonna get Sean Connery back. Mm. Was they were gonna cast an American Bond, one of them <laughs> being Adam West. Oh. Wow. And then another one being the one they actually cast it was this guy named John Gavin who was in Psycho in mm-hmm. a movie Imitation of Life. A very bad, bad actor in my opinion. Um, but then like one of the people were like, "Dude, uh, so what if Sean Connery wants two million dollars? You'd get that in like the first fucking day of the movie." Yeah. So it's like, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're kind of right." Hmm. And then Connery got $2 million and he donated it all to a Scottish artist fund. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because Connery's a good dude. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and so that's why this movie also takes place in Las Vegas because they wanted it to be a big, wild Goldfinger type thing, how Goldfinger took place in Miami mm. and whatnot. Very There's, American. So this is random, but just back to the donating thing. I like the idea that he wouldn't take one million to do it. He'd only take two, but it, like either way, it would have been a donation. Well, because he, it was because it would um, ensure that the the trust fund would never fail. Oh, okay, cool. That's how I was like, 
So in, instead of donating less money, he decided to just say no yeah. until they said yes. Basically, the the deal is sweet. The deal that mm. the, to get him back was sweet. They basically said, we'll give you $2 million, mm-hmm. and also we will um, fund two of your passing projects. Oh, that's cool. And then they did one, and then they didn't do the other one. And oh, like, and nice. Like the, and the, the finance is like, it doesn't matter the details. Well, but what matters is we got to do diamonds are forever. Yeah. And that sucks. Just, like, yeah. But like the the one that he did, like the first, the one passion project that he did was actually really fucking good. It's what called it? called the offense, Ooh. and I don't know if you're if you've ever seen Dog Day Afternoon or the no, Network or Twelve Angry Men. So I I haven't seen Twelve Angry Men, but it's yeah. in my pile. Dog Day Afternoon and stuff. Uh, that director did it, and cool. they him and him and Connery worked together a few times. They did another movie in the sixties called The Hill, which is one of those movies I point out that people should watch to say that when people are like he couldn't do on your way you go service, yeah he uh, could. The Hill is a movie where he's very vulnerable. Um, cool. But anyway. The Offense is a really good movie because it's like him and he has to like, I think it's like it's like he's like a cop and he knows someone's a child molester but he can't do anything about it. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty, pretty good fucking movie. That's the hill. No, it's the uh, the offense. Oh, yeah, okay. the, the hill is he's in a he's in a military prison camp and the guards are like torturing him. Oh, and they plan a revolt and it fails. Cool, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, Tiffany goes to this convoluted thing to get these diamonds, which once again, it's why? It's like a, a ton of mini games. Yeah. yeah. She you got to go to polka and yeah. then you got to fill a balloon and it'll pop. So you get a stuffed animal. I guess they're trying to figure out who, why, or who wants them. Like who wants the diamonds? Like who's the, like the main guy pulling the strings? But like, yeah. who cares if they, if they can't get the diamonds and like, that's what should matter, right? Yeah. They, well, it's like, they find out anyways though. Like they, well, they find out because they the diamonds get, get stolen. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, I, I skipped the the part where it's in the locker. Yeah, and they, they're basically telling her very specific things to do, and then like she doesn't do them, and then like people have to like do it for her. Yeah, because she's a bad character, bad. and then the kid starts yelling at her, and she's like, "Blow up your pants!" Which like, what the fuck does that mean? This is pull up. No, this is blow he says up. Your mom. No, she totally says pull up. One second. Oh, we just missed it. Let's see. What does that even mean? She does say blow up your pants. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you just had a, a little remote problem. Yeah, I don't know what blow up your pants is supposed blow to Blow up your pants. See, I thought because he's he says like, what are you, somebody's mom? Yeah. And then I was like, what are you pull up your pants? And yeah. I was like, oh hey, it's like she's being a mom. Yeah, no, she because he's like, is she your girlfriend? And she's like, blow up your pants. Also, we see a nice cute elephant. I love elephants. Yeah, but it's stupid. It that shouldn't be in the elephant. movie. Yeah, you put that poor elephant. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine that elephant had a terrible life. Probably. R.I.P. Elephant. Yeah, I love elephants. It's sad uh, that they're endangered. Yeah. Well, just stop having ivory. Problem solved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the then we have a really oh racist my scene. God, this scene is, whew, this is terrible. Yeah, we have a really racist moment where they they go they find the jungle monster, which is like a fucking it's like a black woman who turns into a gorilla. Next yeah. scene, uh, and then and she then escapes and they can't find her because she double crossed Felix and Bond. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't make sense, because like why? Because no. uh, yeah. like they literally just got her the diamonds, and like this whole thing doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, it's, it's, I'm stuck on it. That's it's making less sense as we're going through it step by so step. So Felix and Bond are giving her the diamonds, but they're also watching her so they can intercept the diamonds. Well, if they already have the diamonds, why even get have Tiffany have the diamonds? Is it because they want to see who she's going to pass it off to? If, if so, why isn't Bond is going to do it? Yeah. He's like, I'll give you the diamonds, but we're doing it together. Um, Because it makes sense with his character, Peter Frank. He's like, because I want my money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you already didn't give me money, so. Yeah. it It's like... It's very simple, and it's just like, but they're just making it needlessly complicated for no fucking reason. And then Bond, I think, intercepts her at her house, which yes. is like, why would she go back to her fucking house if that's gonna happen? And then when she gets to her house, 
uh, she's like, what are you doing here? Also, why did you throw my black wig in the pool? And, like, the wig is actually Plenty O'Toole, which is mm-hmm. weird because, like, they had, like, nearly no uh, interaction. Yeah. Well, she went to... Wait, why did she go to her house? Yeah. In my head, she went to Bond's house, but that wasn't Bond's house. No, it's Tiffany's. That's so weird. Huh. And then Bond is like, they thought she was you, so they killed her. Which mm. is just like, Mr. Witt and Mr. Kid seem like very thorough people, so they would probably know who is who. Yeah. And also, didn't they see Tiffany on the plane? Yeah, well, there's no illusion that they're together. No, but the they both say they're on the plane, not he's on the plane. So, that yeah, they already have ID'd her. What is happening? Oh, her hair is black, huh? Oh, it's a wig. Okay, just kill this one, too. No, that's her natural hair. That's not even the wig. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. <laughs> and then we have our favorite segment. Oh, wait. We, we missed our favorite segment. In the beginning, was Bond justified hitting that girl in the pre-cryo sequence? Um, he takes off her, no, takes off her top so. and strangles her. I think he was because he's trying to find who, who killed his mom. He's trying to find oh, the man Oh, yeah. Killed. Never mind. Yeah, you're right. Because this is still post-wife problem and this is i'm finding blofeld anything is justified yeah and it's um he really forgets about that huh (laughs) all that rage just goes away yeah (laughs) there's yeah i'm I'm okay with that because she is connected to blofeld and he's trying to find out where he is all right and now on our second time was bond justified hitting this woman no there's another one too huh no okay we actually had to talk about this one for a while during the movie because he is playing the part of Peter, Peter still who she says, what are you a cop? And he hits her, which I guess to keep the character of Peter going, who is this, uh, this like drug smuggler. He's supposed to have been killing people. He's supposedly just killed bond. Like, yeah, I guess he's trying to be ruthless to scare her. So, mm-hmm. and then they take the, the, what about you? Uh, yeah. You're okay with it? Yeah, because because she just got plenty. She got someone innocent killed. Yeah. Oh, that's an even better point. Yeah, her body is literally right there. Mm-hmm. Nice. And Bond probably being more sensitive to women dying right now is like, yeah, he's not fucking around with it. And then they give they 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 they, they leave the fucking diamonds so they, the bad guy can get the diamonds just so Bond can drive like they can drive and he can get into his fucking van. Yep. And, and then they go to station. a fucking, uh, yeah, the gas underground station. Underground laboratory. He goes to an underground laboratory, but this is a good part at first. And then it becomes like. Oh, oh it's what? so good at first. He's like, he's like, oh, hey, who, who, who are you? I've never seen you around here before. Yeah, he's he like, fake oh. badges in. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm I'm this guy. I work in G-section. Oh, how are things in G-section? Oh, you know, just doing these things, you know, checking checking radiation shields. And he's like, oh, huh. Blah blah blah. He's like, "Hey, where's your where's your name tag?" And he's like, "Oh, I, I left that at home." And he's like, "Oh, well, take take we'll take one of my extra it's a, ones." It's um like a Geiger County. Yeah. So it, it's just because they're checking for radiation leaks, mm-hmm. so that'll beep if they get near anything. Yeah. He's like, "I always keep an extra just in case." Yeah. I always double up on protection. Yeah, and then and then after that, uh, he go he he's like um assumes his identity. Yeah, he goes into this guy Bert the Lang- Bert Lingsby, I think his name is. Right? No, it's not. Is no, it? I don't think so. No. Doesn't matter. It's a it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a scientist. It's a scientist yeah. guy. I'm a scientist myself. Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, uh, I'm here from G section. Yada yada yada. I'm here to check radiation levels." He's like, can you please leave? And he's like, "Um, no, I have to Gotta check. check. Gotta check. It won't take a minute." And he's just you like, ever heard "Can of you please OSHA? leave, you irritating man?" And he's just like, "Hey, I know things at G section aren't as important as you, but you know, we yeah. have our we have our orders." I'm just trying to make sure you're safe. And then I don't think he actually does anything there. I don't think he actually no, finds he, out anything. He sees the cassette, which, why would that be there? Oh, well, I guess, because I think the satellite's in there. I guess. Oh, that's, he's, he's just seeing like all like the stuff that he has. That's yeah. about it. It's pretty dumb, but he gets some important information from it. He gets he sees the uh, the cassette, which runs the entire, I guess, satellites need a... A sweet rockin' cassette. Yeah, to play. it's got the it's got the Sin soundtrack to Honor Majesty Secret Service. It's pretty sick. Mm. Um, and then as Bond leaves, he uh, 
he uh, is the, the, the actual scientist guy comes in. Okay, I thought we yeah. And, and then, then they're all like looking at him like what the fuck and he's saying everything the Bonda says and the guys are really confused at why they're looking at him. Yeah, and then it cuts to the alarm going off. Yeah, and then he like Bond's on the moon. Yeah, it's the dumbest thing on the planet. I literally have no idea what was going on. It was like Kubrick's soundstage. Mm-hmm. And my favorite part is like they're like, get him! And the astronauts like slowly turn and like act like they're in space. And I was like, you guys are just in Maybe the suit slows them down. Nah. They're just dumb. And then he gets in a moon rocket buggy thing. Moon rover. A, a rover? <laughs> yeah. yeah, He and he, fly, he drives off, and we have a really shitty chase that's shot it's, in very flat angles. It's so bad. Yeah, this and whole movie so looks like it, it's shot in a flat angle most of the time. Everything looks flat. Yeah. It looks like, it, it, like, I think this was made for, like, I'm going to look up the budgets, so Nick, you can talk. Okay, and, so I'm going to talk about this stupid thing. So he gets in the the moon rover buggy and drives it through the wall to escape. And then he's outrunning these cars through the desert in this buggy, which it just looks so uh, obviously it's supposed to look otherworldly, but it's just so dumb. And it's, it's probably like five or six minutes of it and it's terrible. And then, but he does get chased by these like trikes that have giant tires uh, which I would argue is the second most ridiculous vehicle that James has gotten into, and they're both in the same movie immediately after each other. Mm. Yeah, I don't like Mark's face right now. All right, so first off, Honor Majesty's Secret Service was shot for $7 million. Mm-hmm. You Only Live Twice was shot for $9.2 million. Why the why the decrease in budget like drastically like yeah. that? This well, was, it was, wasn't it like that one set was... True. Just insanely expensive. Yeah. But like this this movie was made for seven point two million dollars. Wow. I wonder how much of that budget is the moon rover. <laughs> Dude, that means two million of that dollars was for just Connery. Oh yeah, you're right. That explains why this movie looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> this movie looks like actual dog shit. And also probably like the Vegas uh yeah, I like, can't imagine how expensive it is to shoot in Vegas. Yeah. Especially for a British company. Yeah, so, like, I guess that's, that's fair as to why this movie looks like such dog shit compared that's... to Honor Majesty's Secret Service, because Honor Majesty's Secret Service was smart to, like, we only have $7 million, let's make it most indoor locations and yeah. the snow. Yeah, the snow probably helped a ton. Yeah. Uh, we'll just ski. <laughs> On the avalanche scene. I mean, there's some, there's some. Yeah, good. there is, but they also didn't have to pay two million dollars. And in this one, they they blow up an oil rig too. Like this is a, there's a lot going on in this. Yeah, it's just like weird. Yeah. That like they didn't increase the budget at all. Really, they they, they yeah. gave them like two hundred thousand more. <laughs> Ugh. It's like it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's a well. I mean, they just. I think the last movie, one it flopped. So like, it didn't really flop, it, dude. The movie was made for eight, eight, eighty-seven. Like I mean, seven million dollars, right? The movie mm. made eighty-seven million dollars. Oh office. yeah, that's not like that's not a flop. Like yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not. No, that's it's not. That's Thunder, not a flop at all. It's not Thunderball where it made like fucking two hundred million dollars, but like yeah. made half of that. Like that's fine. Yeah. No, people are weird. That's definitely not a flop. Yeah, I mean, and th- and like they know, all right. Well, Sean's movies always make at least a hundred million dollars. Why don't they just increase the budget to like ten? It's too easy that way. Like they're gonna make that money back instantly. Yeah. I don't know. I, this is this, this is weird. This is a fucking. Anyway, he he drives them rover and then he drives like a fucking quad. Yep. And it's then a trike. A trike. Okay. It's got three wheels. And then he gets in the car with Tiffany, and then they I think they do another car chase. Yeah, well, this is, they go... To Vegas. Yeah, they again. get away, and he goes, call the sheriff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they have a really shitty car chase that Nick liked for some reason. I didn't mind it. I uh, it, Then they, so it's all right through, like, it's probably total, like, three blocks of Vegas that they just keep reshooting and doing, like, J-turns and... U turns and stuff, and then they get in this parking lot, and it's just like a little ballet of cars, which just ends up being the police hitting each other. Mm-hmm. And then he hits like a little car ramp for uh, 
towing yeah. a car. And then they do this big stunt. They do the dumbest stunt ever. It goes on the two right wheels, and they go through this little narrow passage, which is like, whatever, that's that's kind of cool. And then it's just shot so poorly. They like they shot it backwards or something, and they try to recover it by making it look like he switched sides, which, yeah, which is didn't make sense. Physically impossible. Impossible. And then they play possibly the worst music like, of the movie. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. yeah. Yeah, right after, which and it's like, what am I supposed to feel here? There's also no music during the car chase when they have, and like they, they oh, you're right, there wasn't. They like never use the 007 theme. Oh yeah, they in oh, this is so bad. Like, it, Your Majesty's Service used fantastic, like, yeah, everything for sound wise. Like they use the Bond theme perfectly. Yeah, especially when they do the invasion at the end. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this movie sucks. It also has a car, like a car chase, and this is in a post bullet in a post, uh, and like the French same connection. year as the French Connection, and it, uh, yeah, it looks like shit. Yeah, it's not rear projected though, which, I mean, all the insides are. That wasn't, was it? Yeah, every ca- shot from the inside is is. Oh, rear in, okay, I, see, I know what you mean now. I was they they just had hood cam a little while ago. Yeah, which looked fine. Yeah, but like in a post. French yeah. connection, like, dude, like, there's like no cars. Look, dude, look, dude, yeah, there's like you, three cars on the road. Did you just see that? That like, we're watching the car chase right now. Did you just see the fact that like, those none of the cars on the road were moving, no, other no, than Bonds? Like, look at this shot. Like that moved, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> nobody else is moving. Yeah, that's uh, it's terrible, and there's no like, there's no like people on the streets walking at all. Yeah, they're all standing there watching the movie happen. Yeah, because they're all probably just, like not paid extras. Oh yeah, no, this is just shot on the street, and they said everybody has to stand on the sidewalk. Yeah, it has no like French connection moment where they almost hit a fucking baby. Yeah. Anyway, on purpose. They they get away with that stupid stunt. Uh, all the car car like thing. They all crash, and then Felix yells at Bond, being like, "You did you fucking did that thing, and you're having sex with women, and you have a fucking <laughs> blackface statue in your <laughs> yeah. hotel. I don't, I don't like you, yeah. you know." And then and then Tiffany's like naked downstairs, and she's just like, "I'm sorry, I'm trying to be cooperative." And yeah. then Bond's like, and then he's just like. Felix leaves. He's like, I have people watching you, so you can't leave and fuck up my do- my day anymore. And then Bond immediately puts on his jacket and leaves. And climbs out the window. Yeah, he gets on an elevator. He doesn't really. He has like a he has a grappling hook. Yep. He goes into the uh, Willard White's uh, toilet. Yeah. So Willard White is a Howard Hughes guy, and that's what the hotel they're staying at in Vegas. And Bond believes that Willard White has things to do with the diamonds because the diamonds were brought to Willard White's. Space program place, and yeah. so that's what he is planning on doing. Is doing is going to expose him, and then uh, you find out it's Blofeld, yeah. and he has, ah. and he has a it's Blofelds. Yeah, he has two Blofelds. He throws a cat at Blo- one of them. He shoots him in the head with the grappling gun, mm-hmm. and then the, a cat with a diamond necklace comes out, and he's just like, "Good idea, Bond, but the wrong cat." Yeah. And it's like, cool, whatever. It yeah, would have been better like, if we did uh, the way that I said it. Yeah, and then all the, I guess all the clones are gone now. So it's like, okay. Yeah, so it was like a pointless. What, what was the point of any of this? It was a Nothing came from any of this. Yeah, unless they wanted to say that the blowfield at the end was a clone. So then they could bring oh, him back. Oh, thank God that doesn't happen. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. there is validity to it, I guess. Um, maybe, maybe it was changed in editing type thing. I don't know. Maybe it's missing something. It's bad. I still think the bad. way the, the way to do that is Bond goes in, he shoots Blofeld right in the fucking head, yeah. and then uh and then you find another it. one's behind them. Yeah. But they don't do it. Yeah, that would have been too good. Then they then the new thing is all right, well now we gotta find Willard White. So Bond tricks them by using Q's voice changing technology. Mm-hmm. And then they go and they rescue Willard White after Bond fights these two henchwomen, Andy um, and Thumper. Ba- yeah. I was gonna I remembered their names. Yeah. I was impressed with myself, but Mark took it from me. Yeah, and uh, it's a it's a badly choreographed scene. It sucks. It's terrible. Way too slow. Yep, and uh, should have had more cuts. Yeah, I normally I wouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah, because the gymnastics is just too slow. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some sped up footage. Um, oh, imagine. <laughs> and then uh, after that. 
Oh uh, no! Actually, before that, before Bond can do that, they 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 gas him, and then he goes. Yes. They put him in a whole a, a thing with a rat, and a rat. He's like, "You smell like shit." Actually, it's me. Sorry, old chap. Yeah. yeah. And then this thing comes at him. And Bond turns it off almost immediately, and then gets out of the tunnel. It's 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 literally just filler. Yeah, it's very weird. It's it's literally like, why would Blofeld do that when he could just shoot him? It doesn't. It, this one literally doesn't make yeah. any fucking like, sense. Yeah. Ugh. And b- the way Bond finds out that it is is because he uses, like I said earlier, Qu- Q's technology to change his voice that mm-hmm. Blofeld's been using, and he does it to be one of Blofeld's buddies. And he's just like, "I saw James Bond in the lobby. We got, well, we got to kill B- Willard White." And then he tells him where Willard White is. That's how. That's how we got there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Banning and Thumper and bullshit happens. And then they save Willard White, and he's and they kill one of Will, the guy who they, he th- he was pretending to be. And then he's like, "Is that Burt Baxby? Tell him he's fired." Hilarious. Yeah. Willard White's supposed to be like a Howard Hughes type, but he's not at all. Because like he's not that like neurotic or weird. He's just like, I'm a businessman. Yeah. And like they were all worried that like. Uh, Willard White was gonna fuck. You. I mean, Howard Hughes was gonna be mad because he watched the James Wan movies, and it's just like I don't see how he could have been mad because this guy's literally nothing like him. Yeah, like at, at all. Then Q is at the uh, in Vegas cheating mm-hmm. with his new gadget, and yeah, then Tiffany cheat. sees a cat, and she's like, "Oh shit, I need to get out of here." But like the guy, like Blofeld and Drag was leaving. I think she recognized the cat somehow. Yeah, but it's like, why? Yeah, and like, why is she worried? Because she's next to Q. Oh yeah, and like she knows he's MI six. Yeah, and then then like if he's Q... got a decoder ring. <laughs> yeah, and but it's also like and then she like pretty much just falls into the lap of Blofeld by just like trying to leave when yeah. she could have just stayed there but in then a very public him. area. Then she loves him, so it's okay. Yeah, this is where I mean like her character doesn't make sense once yeah. Bond punches her. <laughs> yeah, he hit her too hard, Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we see, yeah, we, I guess we see Blowfell and Drag, and it's uh, stupid. Doesn't make sense. Because uh, yeah. why? Like he could. So just he can left. just walk out, but everybody would but be like, fine if he just walked out. Yeah, because who the fuck knows who Blofeld is yeah. other than people like secret agents? And it's yeah. like even then, it's a pretty crowded fucking place, and they're all they're all looking for Willard White. Yeah. Ah, it's so bad. What happens next? Uh, they they it's all exposition on the uh, laser and what it is and oh, how to get yes, it back yes, yes. and yada 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 and then and we then go launches. to the oil rig. Oh man, Which, dude! They finally used helicopters, and I'm like, those are nice helicopters. They use little birds and Hueys, and I was underwhelmed. I was like, no. Yeah, and wasted. then then like they switch the tape out, and then Bond trusts Tiffany to to keep it. Like safe when yeah. he was in her butt, yeah. Yeah, but like, if you had the tape on, just keep it on you. Why would you give it to this person who's consistently fucked up this whole movie? And then she fucks up as you're changing the tape, yeah. and she goes outside and she's like, "I changed the tape." He's like, "You idiot! You put the real one back in." And it's yeah. just like, "Yeah, Bond, what the fuck do you think was gonna happen?" He just wanted to touch her butt. Yeah, this happens on like Bond gets is in a ball and he, they throw him out of a oh, plane so, and they. Oh, this movie's so bad, Mark. And they let him get out, and then Blofeld tells him his plan as if he hasn't learned. Like literally, the last movie he learned not to tell, not to do that, and now he's just like, actually, we're back to 1963 where I haven't yeah. met you before. <sighs> <laughs> this movie is so fucking bullshit, but. And then they go on the whole thing where Bond escapes, and then he kills, starts fighting the thing. The cavalry yep. comes back. They start shooting everybody. Blofeld's like, everyone stand at your post. Get my escape thing ready. Yeah, give me, bring around yeah, my, my monorail. Yeah, I would like my monorail now. And he gets into a thing, but Bond hijacks it. He starts throwing him around the fucking thing. Using him like a little wrecking ball. Which doesn't make sense. Tiffany falls somewhere because Bond gives her a gun. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Hijinks ensue. And then he jumps in the water. Yeah, they save the the oil rig blows up, so presumably Blofeld is dead. This arc that has started from 1962 to 1971 <sighs> has finally concluded, and it feels so fucking hollow. Yeah, it's so wasted. It was such a 
such a good character. Yeah, and then Willard White and Felix are like, all right, cool, we saved the day, we got the diamonds, blah, 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 the oil rig is gone. Hooray, Bond, go on a cruise with Tiffany, which, why? why I is think Tiffany? they're going back to London. Yeah, but why? Because new wife. But not really. Yeah, new wife. Yeah. She was going to ask him to marry him. Yeah, until he until he saved her life. Then she was like, actually, I'm having second thoughts. Yeah. Um, actually, this might happen again. <laughs> yeah. Um, they say goodbye, and then Mr. Wint and Mr. Kidd are on there, cause we, and we all forgot about their existence because they hadn't been in the film for the last fucking hour. And so did the writers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the henchmen. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had that plot. And uh, Tiffany's on the thing with Bond. She's like, I want to ask you. I don't know a woman shouldn't ask. It's just like, literally, like, he would not marry you. Yeah. Like, l- like you, you would literally have no just character. with Blofeld. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you literally are coming into his life right after Tracy. Yeah. That is not going to happen. Yeah. It's dumb. But then we get shenanigans. Yeah. Mr. Kid went and Mr. Kid are like making him like they're acting like they're fucking servers, but they clear. But Bond can smell the perfume from from earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Mr. Kid and Mr. Went uh, threw him in the trunk. threw him in the trunk to put him in the hole that that tube when they could have shot him there. Yeah, uh, and they're gonna they're gonna blow him up pretty much. But then Bond finds them out. So Mr. Kid grabs two shish kebabs and lights <laughs> them on fire and goes towards them. As if the stick wouldn't immediately catch on fire and burn his hands. Yeah. Or, like, you could throw him. Or bring a gun. Hmm. Could have worked. Yeah. And then Bond just breaks a bottle of, I think, Hennessy and throws the alcohol onto Mr. Kid's arms and he immediately catches flames as Mr. Wint starts strangling Bond from the behind. Mm-hmm. And then Mr. Kid burns to death. Well, he jumps into the water. But by that point, he would have been dead. Yeah. And if not, like, the burning flesh with the salt water would have become... Oh, uh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that, that would have been the worst thing ever. <laughs> and he would have died almost instantly from the pain. Mm. I I do really like the scene where Bond is smelling the cork, and he's like, your aftershave is very strong. Yeah. It's like, ooh. But yeah, and then... After seeing his, are they, do you think they're married? Do they have rings? No, it wasn't legal like, yet. Yeah, it was, was legal in awesome England. So, uh, the, I uh, he almost gets enraged. I would say, but yeah. then uh, Bond ties his arms between his. Well, legs. he he throws him off, and then he, like he grabs his tie and pulls it between his dick and his asshole, and he goes <laughs> ooh. Oh Gay yeah, joke. he does do that face. Oh my god! And then Bond tie- takes the bomb and ties it to the tie, and then flips him around, like flips him over the boat, and then he blows up in midair. Yep. And it looks terrible. Yeah, the the burning scene looks great though. I'll I mean, give he him that. it looks like he's trying to catch himself more on fire, <laughs> but that looked good. Yeah, uh, and then as as they're dead, she, he's like, "So what did you want to say to me?" As they look up to the moon, it's like, "Oh no, the the diamonds are in the sky. They're in a, they're on a, they're, they're on, on a satellite. satellite." Yeah, and she's like, "How do we get those diamonds back to Earth?" And then you hear, "Ding ding ding, diamonds yeah. are forever." Yeah, and then the movie's over. Woo. Yep. And that's why we See? didn't Ooh. love it. Yeah, I hated this movie. Hated. We should hated. still do the star things. Though. Hated this movie. Oh, we are. We're gonna yeah. rank everything. We'll just highlight why it's bad, though. You ready? Let's do it. Intro. Um, a solid one. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking one. I because I like. I almost gave it a two just because of that part where he's like, I think we could do this. He takes the girl's shirt off and then ties it around her throat. Yeah. But then I'm like. But then, like the Cairo and hit me, and then Blofeld being having hair. Yeah, all of, like all of it's so bad. The only thing I like is uh, Sean's acting, because like you said, like he should be enraged that his wife was just murdered. Mm-hmm. So I like that. But yeah, I'm also a one. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, shit. Bond, which I'll I'm gonna say like three. Are you going lower? I am. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Yeah. How low? Two and a half. Okay. 
I was like, is he going to go like one? Because he has, like, his quips are good. Yeah. But, like, that's all there is. Yeah. Like, the action is okay in one scene. Yeah. I know I'm raising it to three just because of, you speak, you English? (laughs) I speak English. That's it. Yeah. I think he he gets more boring throughout the movie, but I'm kind of sad it's his last one. I feel like. He has one more. Oh, okay. Yeah, the unofficial one, the the, the, re- oh, the remake yeah, yeah. of Thunderball. But this is his last official mm-hmm. Bond film. Wow. <sighs> what a send off. Nine times out of ten, the the a Bond send off is their worst movie. Mm. The only ones who have a good one are like a really great one are like Dalton and Lazenby. You don't like. The Thunder Die is a good movie. I'm saying in terms of like, oh, this is a good send off. Mm. Like, Lazenby has the best one. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I, I think that's impossible to beat. Yeah. Because his whole thing was in one movie and it was better than some that we've seen for their entire appearances. Yeah. Sean. <laughs> oh, uh, Bond Girl is the next one. One. Both of them. Oh. Yeah. I, I'll give one and a half, too. Plenty plenty doesn't have anything to do with the film. Exactly. I just think she's super attractive. Yeah. T- so Tiffany two. Case sucks. Yeah, she's t- great at first and then devolves into bullshit. Yeah. It, like, just watching the fast forward through at the end, it's she's your character's terrible. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, um, she starts off as like this really strong character who can do who can handle herself, and then all of a sudden they give her a gun. And she's like, Aah! "Yeah, is she? Uh, you think she's better than Domino? Or <laughs> <laughs> we got a new oh yeah on the of scale of Kissy Suki to she's uh, Suki, bro. She's not Suki. She's barely above it. I don't think she's that bad. I uh, Suki is no. Su- I guess I'm. Yeah, are you forgetting Suki? A, not only that, but I'm also thinking of Tiff just at the end. Yeah, I, I because of her beginning, because her first scenes are really cool. I can't, yeah. I can't say she's Kissy Suki. She's like low though, but she's definitely, she's definitely on like, uh, she's definitely like maybe like the bottom tier. Like yeah, she's definitely like not, she's like not D-tier. that bad, but she's like she's more on the, yeah, she's more on the Aki side. <laughs> Yeah, she's uh she's low. Uh the next one is Felix, which I thought he was all right, but meh. Two and a half. Yeah, that's I'm I'm probably just gonna go two. He doesn't do anything in the entire movie. Yeah, exactly. The only reason I'm giving him a half is I think I gave Felix and Goldfinger here's here's what I'll say. So I gave Felix and Goldfinger a one, then I'll give this guy one and a half. If I gave him a two, I'll give him two and a half. Okay. Yeah. He's a half a star better than Felix yeah, and Goldfinger. Than, than the worst one. Yeah. Then uh, MI6. The Q scene, even though it wasn't like, I didn't really care for the the voice changing thing. I did like his slot machine thing, though. I yeah. thought that was kind of funny. I wish it was with Bond, though. And One not... and a half. <laughs> yeah. Uh... This is the worst money penny we've ever had. Oh, you're right. I forgot. I was trying to think of. M stuff, but the money that really was brings awful. It down. Yeah, the M stuff that went on for fucking ever. There was yeah. this exposition after exposition. Yeah, especially in the beginning with the other. I think yeah. he's a treasurer or something. The other old guy. Yeah. Bad. It should have been M. Bad. Yeah. So. I might do one and a half. Yeah, villain. One and a half. Uh, I'm giving it a half. Oh my god! I always forget we can go that low. I'm gonna give it one. I'm giving it a half because I I kind of like the idea of having the clones. They just like me too. They don't use it at all, and he's atrocious. Yeah, because the the idea of if we could have had the beginning be Bond, like a Lazen be Bond, and he kills Blofeld in the beginning, like brutally. Yeah, where like Blofeld's like in a chair, and like Bond is walks and it was like after like finding him, he just like Phew. yeah, and he goes like. Open hell, Blofeld. And then that's how the movie starts. And then later on, when he climbs up the thing and he sees Blofeld the first time, and he's just like, like, what the fuck? Oh, dude, I didn't even fucking think about that. Bond thinks Blofeld's dead. Yeah. That didn't even get, like, oh my God. This he has, is, like, barely this a reaction. so bad. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, and then the, the, the pure rage where he's just like, he's just like, hello, 007. And he's just, 
poof, and it shoots yeah. him again. And then right after that, they have the gun right to back of Bond's head. Ugh. And then if you tell you Savalas is Blofeld, so it'll be actually cool. Yeah. And then you keep planting that throughout the thing, so you don't even know where the real Blofeld is. Yeah, that's. A, so, I would like to not not even think about there being like an original. Like you're like, oh my god, there's like multiple a ton of you. Even though it'd be people who became. I yeah. don't know if they mentioned the brain. Also no, being, they didn't. But it's one guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the henchmen, they're pretty good. Uh, I'll give them four. Yeah, I, I'm thinking like three and a half. I'm giving. But I f- like their dead, their deaths. Yeah, I like. I just like the. I like their first kill so much. And yeah, like their how, first kill is really good. I like how like how creative they are with their murdering, except yeah. when it comes to Bond, where they just suck. Yeah. Oh. I, I really like the canal joke too. That was pretty good. Yeah, I felt bad. Like I said, Mr. Wind and Mr. Kid are the are the are the are the best parts, and also I guess you can say Peter Franks is a henchman, so I'll give it once again four because like the the fucking scene in the fucking oh elevator. yeah you're right you're right you're right. Nah, I'm gonna stick with three and a half. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Uh, story. Yeah. One. Hold on, actually. So, are we gonna have a new tier list for oh, villain? What? Why? Because this is the worst villain we've ever had. Yeah. So is it now Blofeld or Blofeld? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's, pretty funny. Are you either, Are you? Are, are it's like it, he's it's, way worse than Doctor No. Yeah, because you have at the bottom that you're on a scale. It's like worst villain would be like you can either be a tel- uh, Charles Gray, uh, Blofeld, or you can be a Tully Savalas Blofeld. And yeah. if you're mediocre, you're, you're Donald Pleasance Blofeld. Yeah, it's just all <laughs> through. That's really good funny. God, he was so bad in this though. Yeah. Um, the story overall one. Yeah, I'm also a one. It's pretty convoluted, and we still don't really get the whole plot to get the diamonds from other people and then kill them. Yeah. But yeah. The cinematography. Um half. Yeah, I was like I'm at one. Half a star. Yeah, it's pretty flat. There's I I want to give credit for I like the hood shots. Uh camera on hood looking at driver and like it's a medium. So like you can see the background going by and you can see it really well because it's shot flat. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'll give some credit there, but they do day for night again in a scene that could very easily be just day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's some pretty bad rear projection. Cars, I'll give a five. Cars look sick in this movie. That red car that Bonds drives in Vegas. Woo! Yeah. I think it's a Mustang. Who? That's pretty good. Yeah, you like the the... The like Ford van. Oh yeah, I, I love, I love, I, I love seventies cars, dude. Yeah, it's nice. I'll, pr- I'll probably give it like a three and a half, it's just because it's like I. I like I'm, the I'm just a seventies bitch, dude. I just love anything seventies. Yeah. So you know. like, you, you know, like, you know, it's like if you ask me, like, right, right, their costumes, like, ooh, five. Yeah, Looking fantastic. The costumes were all good. There was, uh, we could make costumes one too. No, there, there's is. Well, I mean, there was some good stuff. Like Bond had. Even uh, you were like that turtleneck is pretty sick. It is jacket. pretty sick, but then like you're also like Lazy Beast turtleneck in the last movie was it exactly a lot more fly. Yeah. Man, looked a lot more fly. Yeah. <laughs> and gadgets, which there were a couple. The voice um, changing thing was meh. Giving it a zero. Really, I liked the grappling hook. I thought it was kind of cool. I it's a little gun that we've already had grappling. a grappling hook. Yeah, but it shot from next to him. Yeah, and, and? it shot like. <laughs> I so it also shot like you know when you think of like a grappling hook like the anchor looking one like this gun shot like straight into concrete and it was like a, a hold. All right, I, fine. I it. Yeah, I, I, give it a one. Give it a one. I'm giving it a half. Yeah, you're going up from zero to a half. I'll, I'll give you that. The that's, voice that's changer sucks. Move. Yeah, voice changer is dumb. The the like Tiffany the Case had the best fucking gadget, which was the fucking fingerprint reader. Oh in yeah, closet. that one. I actually kind of liked that. Yeah. It was pretty dumb, but that's a lot of machinery for just checking a fingerprint. Yeah. It's got the whole camera set up and then into her whole <laughs> blown up the size of Bond's fingerprint, the yeah. size of Bond. Do you think this is like one of the worst sequels to a good movie? Like, uh, like one of the worst sequels I ever I think this made? is one of the worst movies I've seen. Like this is like this is like such a this is like you like this is such like a decline in a series like I can't yeah. like, I'm trying to think of other ones that are like this like 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 the Lost World to Jurassic Park is like it's like kind of like this mm. or like I Jaws two 
Yeah. Or like uh I'm trying to think of other the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or that like didn't really start that Phantom group. Menace, I guess. Yeah, I guess. But even then, Phantom Menace is nowhere near this bad. Oh no, yeah. I think the the prequels on their own are like. I think they. I. Mark really likes them. I think they're all right. I don't really like the prequels. I don't. This, don't Dude, slander me like that. How many times have you watched Phantom Menace this year? I've never. I haven't watched it this year. What are What are you rewriting? I remember in the prequels, but I don't have to watch it. I, I, oh, okay. I, I saw it when I was a kid. I know, Bro, I know I thought, what it's about. Uh, why would I rewatch it if I'm, the way if I'm, if I'm creating a different storyline of the prequels? Why would I fucking watch it? I thought you were literally watching Phantom Menace like multiple times a week. No, the only time I watched anything from Phantom Menace is from watching the making of Phantom Menace because it's oh, very okay. fascinating. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones. I personally didn't like John Wick too. I well, I guess a John Wick movie. Uh, the first one I really liked. It's a cool IP, and then the third one I hated. I oh, another one I could compare like that would be like Halloween to Halloween Two. Yeah, and I mean Halloween. <sighs> Halloween Two is not a good movie. No, all the hospital stuff I think is pretty boring. Yeah, which is the whole the movie. movie. <laughs> yeah. Halloween one is just so good though. Yeah, it's, it's there's only two good Halloween movies, Nick. <laughs> it's Halloween one and Halloween three. I liked uh, twenty eighteen. The I thought of a good one. Halloween twenty eighteen, Halloween kills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's too much, dude. Well, oh, ah, oh, it slipped. I'm gonna think of it once we're off the podcast. I know it. Ah, come on, Nick. Come on. I, I'm trying. Give so me a hard. genre of what it is, and I no, can try to figure it out. It's funny because they're it's not direct sequel. It's like spiritual, but I can't remember. And we can't do this on a podcast. I'm just gonna sit here and have to be silent for minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I think Creed Two is a good one too. Where it's like Chris Creed One is a big master masterpiece, and Creed Two is like the, the most generic grab. bullshit. <laughs> Although it's not that Creed Two is nowhere near as bad as this movie. This movie is like one of the worst movies. I like. Yeah, this is, I'm. It's because like, it's it's like a Bond movie, but it's boring. Yeah, that's. I feel like it was almost undersold how bad it was to me, because I was like, okay, everybody's saying this is gonna be like, like the worst Bond movie, and I'm like, this is like in my bottom ten movies. Yeah, I think this is. I don't I'm think this down. is the worst Bond movie. Okay, I think I'm, there are at least. Uh-oh. There's at least two that are worse. Three, or th- personally, I think there's three that are worse than this. Mm. Maybe this, four. This also it might be hitting hard because these first ones have been awesome. Yeah. Like besides, you only live twice. Yeah, you only live twice, which is. But I even think like that had redeemable qualities. Like this, I'm like, yeah, it had like a good fight scene, and it had a henchman, and it had a, a funny scene where Bond was in a lab coat. Yeah, that's that, that's what we that's what we got. Yeah, we got a good seven minutes out of this entire movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, I fucking hate it. Uh, <laughs> spoiler yeah. alert: it's at the bottom of both of our lists. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's funny. Last week, our tops like it's not really a spoiler. It's gonna be the top one, and this one, it's gonna be the bottom one. Yeah, so. <laughs> but check out uh, the description. Will have our list so you can stay up to date with how we're ranking them. I just think it's just like it's just so baffling because you like the series was hitting such a high note. Yeah, and then it, it found just itself hit the worst possible like step. But it's like the producers weren't like didn't realize it, so like they keep Guy for, to do the next two movies. Oh no! So Guy Hamilton directs the next two, and uh. One of them I think is pretty good, and it's sacrilegious to say, but I think it's better than Goldfinger. Mm. Uh, and then the other one is one of the ones I consider worse than this. Oh, I don't want to come over for the next two weeks. No, the next one. No, next week is great. Okay. I think I think it's better than Goldfinger. Okay, and it's the first time Roger Moore plays Bond. Oh, this will be cool. Yeah, so we're gonna have a very different. Bo- so now, like, yeah. forget Connery. Yeah, forget. Forget Lazenby. Forget that cool <sighs> fucking guy. We're going to have a fucking dork. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Thank All you. right. Well. And that's it, I guess. Yeah. Do you have anything left to say? I don't, I don't think I have anything Rest else. in peace, Sean Connery. Yeah. There's, see you in the hill. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually dead, Nick.
Huh? He's actually dead. No, I'll see. I'm going to watch the hill. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they said, him? I thought you said yeah. see you in hell. Oh, no. I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, No, I'll Nick. see you in the movie you told me to watch. Oh, yeah, The Hill, yeah. That and The Offense are both really yeah. good. I'll check those out. Yeah. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Bonding with Bond. It's a short one. Yeah, definitely compar- shorter compar- than especially last week. <laughs> last week where we were just like frothing in the mouth about how much we loved the fucking I think movie. It was last week the longest one? I Either think, the, when we were with Ryan, it might have been long. I think too. "You Only Live Twice" was longer. I think "You Only Live Twice" was two hours long. Wow. Because <laughs> like that one, we had a lot to say. Yeah. I feel like no, we can we keep bitching it. on this one. I don't wanna. <laughs> Let's. It can rest in peace. I never want to think about this movie ever again. Okay. All right. Well, that's gonna be it then. <laughs> um, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for listening. If you guys want to hear us do a video where or an, another episode where we just rewrite this movie from the ground up, <laughs> that that could be a fun little series. At the end, then yeah, we could we could do that. I would love to do like a direct sequel to Honor Majesty's Secret yeah. Service. Oh. But uh, we'll act it out too. <laughs> totally. I want to be Felix. Um. And that's going to be it. So we'll see you next Tuesday. Be sure to subscribe to the Nihilus Media YouTube channel. Watch all of our films. Listen to the other shows on the podcast channel. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.